Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. My name is HippoTC, and as a day one player in Sea of Thieves, I often get asked the question, how are you supposed to play this game solo? And honestly, it's a great question. It's easy to get overwhelmed when you don't have a crewmate you can lean on, and sailing alone is no joke. Solo slooping is basically Sea of Thieves hard mode. But don't worry, your scurvy little head. If you can master the techniques that I cover in my guides, you will become a force to be reckoned with. So if you are new to the game or you just want some tips and tricks to improve as a solo pirate, I hope you find these guides useful. In this video, we will focus on helping you learn the basics and cover how to prepare your ship for the adventure ahead. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100k subscribers by the end of the year, and I noticed that a large number of viewers are not yet subbed. So if you have not yet subscribed, it would mean a whole freaking lot to me if you did. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. First, let's talk about knowing your ship it's one of the most important things you can do as a solo slooper you need to learn where everything is and memorize it you should never have to stop and think about where things are especially during combat if you are brand new to the sea of thieves i highly recommend doing the maiden voyage this will give you a great intro into the game but also show you some of the basics on how your ship functions now let's talk about choosing a safe-ish server i say safe-ish because none of us are really safe especially if stray chris the violent one is sailing i if you are a sweaty pirate like me, there's nothing you love more than seeing a bunch of these little tiny ships on emissary tables. This means there's a lot of other people on the server. However, an active server might not be your best bet if you're looking for a peaceful sail. You also want to check to make sure there are no grade 5 reapers on your map if you plan on raising an emissary flag as those scurvy dogs will be able to see you right away. Once you're loaded into a good server, you want to make sure that your ship looks good. Now when I say you want your ship to look good i mean avoid all of the glowy stuff seriously don't put it on your ship you look like a tasty glowing snack to the bloodthirsty pirates that will be able to see you from across the map with your blinding ship which brings me to my next point turn off your lanterns think of the bloodthirsty pirates as moths your lit up ship is a flame the less lit you are, the less visible you are, and the safer you are. Another key to being successful when solo sleeping is having a well-stocked ship. Collect all of the supplies that you can before setting sail. While you want to stock up on plenty of the basics such as wood, fruit, and cannonballs, I highly recommend you focus on finding cursed cannonballs, specifically things like peace balls, ballast balls, anchor balls, and rigging balls, chain shots, blunder bombs, fire bombs, and good food, which I'm going to cover here in a little bit. Honestly, stock up on everything. You want everything and as much of it as possible. If you do have some money to burn, I would highly recommend purchasing some supply crates from the merchant at your outpost. You can purchase a fully stocked wood crate, cannonball crate, and a fruit crate. You can also purchase an empty storage crate. Now, if you don't have any money to burn, you can always keep your eyes on the shores of any of the islands that you sail past, as there are usually are crates to be found on the beach. Before you leave the outpost or while you are sailing, catch some fish and cook them up. As a solo pirate, the importance of having good food cannot be overstated. In fact, as a solo pirate, you need every advantage you can get, and having something as simple as a cooked fish over a banana will mean life or death. So take the time to stock up on the good stuff. You're going to need it. Last thing on supplies here is I want you to organize your barrels. Each crew will do this differently, but I like to put all of my cannonballs, chain shots, fire bombs, and blunders in the top barrel, cursed cannonballs in the bottom, and good food in the top barrel, and crappy food in the bottom barrel. Having organized barrels will make a big difference when you're in the middle of the fight because you know where all of the stuff is and in which barrel it is as well. Also, it is super good practice to always put your supplies in the barrels. The reason for this is if you do keep things in the crates, seasoned pirates, if they do get aboard, will drop your supplies overboard, leaving you kind of at a disadvantage. So always put them in the barrels and don't keep your supplies in the crate. Speaking of food, here's what it looks like in Sea of Thieves. I will make these charts available to you in the description below. Fruit. A banana has a health recovery of 20%. Coconut is 30%. A pomegranate is 40%. A mango is 50%. And a pineapple is 100%. And you get two bites. Now let's talk meat. Meat can be broken down into two tiers. Tier one, you have chicken, pork, snake, and shark. When cooked properly, provides 50% on your health and a quarter towards your health regen bar. Tier two, you have Kraken and Megalodon meat, when cooked properly, provides 100% health and half of your health regen bar. Next up, we have fish. 
fish can be broken down into two tiers. Tier one is the basic fish, when cooked properly, provides 30% on your health and 12.5% towards your health regen bar. Tier two is the trophy fish, when cooked properly, provides 75% health and 37.5% of your health regen bar and talking about the health regen bar for it to kick in you need to not be taking damage for at least 10 seconds so in combat don't rely on it right away run away dodge do whatever you have to to give you the time you need for your health to regenerate i will cover more on this and other combat strategies in another guy video now that your ship is prepared and ready for adventure once you start sailing you should be mindful of how much supplies you have as you use them you should take advantage of every safe opportunity to search barrels and shipwrecks for extra goodies. Just make sure when you come to a stop anywhere that you do not leave your ship anchored or angled into an island. You should always have your anchor up, your sails raised, and your ship pointed away from the shore when you are stopped. If you're worried about your ship drifting, just drop your anchor and quickly pick it back up so you're always ready to go. This will allow you to run to your ship and drop sails to escape if another crew shows up. At the end of the day, as a solo pirate, you are on your own. Making sure you and your ship are ready for anything will make the difference. I hope you all found this video helpful. I plan to release another guide video, but this time we're going to focus on how to defend your ship as a solo, so keep an eye out for that. Also, if you are a new pirate and are looking for more info, I have another video that highlights some of the best tips and tricks for new pirates. You can find that video in the description below. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you scurvy dogs next time.